Hello, welcome everyone to our math class. We have for today module 1, adds and subtract simple fraction and mixed numbers with or without regrouping. This is our activity A, activity letter A or first activity in your module. Yours truly, math teacher Elizabeth P. Henovia. Now, the first activity is about how to reduce fraction to lowest term using the greatest common factor or G. C, F. Let's have an example. We have here 4, 12. Okay? So, we are going to reduce 4, 12 into lowest term. We will try to find out the factors of 4 and 12 so that we will be able to get the lowest term of 4, 12. Okay? So, how to get the common factor? First, we are going to list down the factors of 4 and list down the factors of 12. So, let's begin. Find the common factor of 4 and 12 using factor 3. You can also use continuous division to find out the factors of the two numbers. Okay? I use here factor 3. Now, let's have 4. What are the two numbers that when you multiply these two numbers, you will get an answer of 4? So, we have 2 and 2. So, these are the two factors of 4. Na itong dalawang to na to, Maliit na yan siya. Tawag natin dyan ay prime number na. So, dahil prime number na yan sila, hindi na pwedeng paliitin pa. Okay? So, si 4, hindi yan siya pwedeng tawaging prime number kasi pwede pa siyang mahati. Now, let's proceed to number 12. What are the factors of 12? I have here 4 and 3. Pwede mo rin isulat 6 and 2. Hanapin mo lang sa dalawang pares na numero na yan kung alin yung numero na pwede pang mahati. Kasi pag nahati, composite pa yun. Ha? Hindi pa yun siya pwedeng gamitin as factor. Kailangan talaga prime number ang gamitin natin. Ibig sabihin ng prime number, uh, ang pwedeng mapares niya to multiply is 1. Okay? So, between 4 and 3, ang pwedeng mahati nating number dito is 4. So, again, we have the factors of 4, which are 2 and 2. So, notice, lahat ng mga numbers sa baba na merong underline, merong guhit, yan na yung mga pinakamaliit na number. So, yan yung gamitin natin to get the factors of 4 and 12. So, isulat natin ng maayos. I-arrange natin siya. Ganito yun. 4 equals 2 times 2. Okay? Galing yan dito. Sa factor 3 ng 4. Next, we have 12. We have 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? Dito yan galing sa factors ng 12. Yung pinakamaliit na tatlong numero na hindi kasama si 4. Okay? Now, notice, pansinin ninyo ang pagkasulat ng aking factors ng 4 and 12. Kung ano yung magkaparihong number sa pagitan ng dalawang uh, numero ng fraction ninyo, like 4 and 12, dapat ipagtapat mo yung magkaparihong numero. So, since si 3, wala siyang kasama, wala kang makikitang 3 doon sa 4, so ilabas mo yon. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang kasama. Okay? So, dalawang tulang ang magkapariho na meron sa 4 at meron din sa 12, so silang dalawa ang pagtapatin mo. Okay? Para... Yo ang dalawang parihong 2 na yan, i-multiply mo yan to get the factor. Para yun ang gamitin mong divisor upang lumiit si 4, 12. Okay? So, we have here 2 times 2. I-multiply natin itong dalawa. Dalawang 2 na magkapariho sa 4 and 12. So, 2 times 2, the answer is correct, 4. So, we will make use 4 as our GCF. So, gito na yung mangyari. Therefore, divide mo na si 4 twelfths. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Then 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Okay? Sa ato pa, si 4 twelfths, ang pinakagamay niya nga term is 1 third. Okay ba? So next. Okay, so 4 12 equals 1. Next, how to reduce fraction to lowest term using multiples, right? 
So, I have here an example again for 12. Hanapin natin ang multiples ng 12 at saka 4. Okay? Since si 4, makikita din natin si 12 doon sa kanya. So, iisa lang na multiples ang ginamit ko. I only use the multiples of 4. So, ganito yon. Sinulat ko lahat ang uh, limang multiples na meron sa 4. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Kung mapapansin ninyo, nandiyan na si 12 at nandiyan na, sa, na din si 4. So, anong mangyari dyan? Okay? So, ibig sabihin, gamitin natin si 4. Kasi pag sinabi mong greatest common factor or greatest common multiple, multiples, siya yung pinakamaliit sa kanilang dalawa. Siya yung magiging divisor mo para liliit yung fraction. Okay? So, kagaya lang din kanina, i-divide mo na siya. So, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, ganun pa din ang answer. 4, 12 equals 1 third. The lowest term of 4, 12 is 1 third. Naintindihan nyo? So, meron tayong dalawang paraan. Ha? Pwede natin gamitin yung uh, factor 3 or continuous division. At pwede natin gamitin itong multiples. How to find the multiples? Simply using your multiplication table. Yeah, ito, 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 3, 12, yun. Hindi mo na isulat yung 4 times, 4 times. Diretso ka na lang. Sulat mo na lahat yung sagot. That, those are what we call multiples of 4. Kasi 4 ang given dito sa numerator. Okay, sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. At sana nas, uh, maintindihan nyo yung activity 1 ng module 1 or activity A at uh, kung may problema you can chat me magtanong kayo doon at kung hindi pa talaga naintindihan tingnan natin kung anong pwede natin gawin ano ha so good luck and thank you for listening that's all for today